We're now going to work a lateral braided band in the round. To start the first round, we need to remove our marker, slip one stitch from the right hand needle onto the left hand needle, and replace our marker. We're changing our needle size, so I'll introduce the new needle now. And the first stitch we're going to knit into the back of the second stitch on our left hand needle, like so. And then we knit into the first stitch on our left hand needle. And then let both of those stitches drop off your needle. Now we transfer the first stitch on our right hand needle back to our left hand needle. And we, we repeat the last sequence, knitting into the second stitch on our left hand needle, into the back, and then into the front of the first stitch. And we just repeat that sequence. So we transfer one stitch from the right hand needle to the left. Just keep the yarn reasonably taut so that that stitch doesn't get loose and floppy. Knit into the back of the second stitch and then the front of the first stitch. And we repeat that all the way around. So we've repeated that sequence until we've got to the end of the row. Now we need to create an extra stitch. We do that by picking up the first stitch of the horizontal braid, like so, knitting that stitch. And then we pass the second stitch on our right hand needle over the first, like so. So we've completed round one. For round two, keep the marker in the same place. Slip it to the right hand needle and then just knit the entire round. This is what your first row will look like after you've done the two rounds for the horizontal braid. Remember for round one you always slip one stitch from the right hand needle to the left hand needle before moving the marker. Otherwise the seam of your where the horizontal braid joins tends to veer off to the left. 